welcome to Dana's channel Aquaba in front of me for those of you who don't know Kevoy Kevoy yes <laughs> pleasure to have you here today yeah. um no guys uh Kevoy a uh, fellow Jamaican and Kevoy has been in Ghana since 2019 no I have, yes, 29? 20, 20, 20, but I've been here. No, I came here the first time in 2019. Ah. And I came to live in 2020. Okay, so yeah. I would like Kevoy mm -hmm. to share with us mm -hmm. how did you land in Destination Ghana? Give it, give it, give it to me. Give it to me, Kevoy. Well, Kevoy. You, know, you know, I'm an actor, so um, my, my film was the official um, film for the year of return. And so I had to shoot uh, a couple of scenes in Ghana, and that's the first time I came to Ghana. And I fell in love with the place, and I really wanted to see if I wanted to see it again, or I wanted to live here. So I came back again in December of that year, spent a month, and I really liked the place. And so I moved in March 2020. So you have been here since March 2020. So you have officially cleared, we can say, two and a half years here in Ghana. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, for two and a half years, Kevoy, mm -hmm. uh, you are comfortable with Destination Ghana. Oh, 100%. You don't see. <laughs> Straight. No, seriously, for, for sure. Um, what, what do you... Let me, see, let me try to, to phrase mm -hmm. this. Two and a half years in Ghana. This was not your plan. You came based on a movie mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. and you made a decision to stay where do you see yourself in the next five ten years at least oh, in yeah. ghana in ghana oh i mean i see myself as a millionaire uh no joke mm -hmm. um you know it's something that i strive for ghana has i think ghana has the the, the potential to 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 grow into so I mean when I saw it I saw self expansion I saw you know I can come here I can become something different or I can I can create a different reality for myself and my family and so it is something that you know it's not it's not like the U S or the U K or Canada or whatever because it's gonna be an uphill battle because me black you understand so I wanted to come into a space where um, the odds were not really stacked against me. And even when you come into this space, you'd, real, you'd realize that the Ghanaians like Jamaican accent. So you get a lot of privileges in this society. So, you know, um, it is somewhere where, um, you know, a lot of people see struggle and thing, but where I see struggle, I see opportunity. So, you know, once, once there is struggle, opportunity exists. And there, you know, there's a lot of opportunity here. So for me, it's like in 10, 15, 20 years, I'll be different. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, Kevoy, because you are um, what we refer to as uh, a millennial, <laughs> right? Uh, you're, you're under 32 yes. years of age. And what I found interesting that you said to me off camera was you are here, you made a decision to remain, right? And what you want to do is pave the way for your family back in Jamaica. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, share a little bit about that, because I find that to be very profound. Oh, so, you know, all right, so um, I'm a ghetto youth, um, come from the ghetto, straight, straight, um, Spanish town. And, you know, one thing I've learned about myself and about my family as well, um, is that it's just opportunities that we lack. And once we get the opportunities, we can put them in our arms. Shine it, you understand? We grab it by the both hands. So, you know, it's not, it's not a matter of competence, it's more a matter of opportunity. And once I can dig out these opportunities for my family, they can also make themselves different. So, you know, it's just ghetto, ghetto, it's not where you come from, it's where I go. And you are an example because what you are showing is that uh, family or friends back home, mm -hmm. if they would like, you are basically saying by being here, mm -hmm. Africa can also be the space mm -hmm. for you to seek your own opportunity. 100%. Destination Ghana can be the gateway because you are here. 100%. And you believe that to be so clearly. Oh yeah, 100%. Like, <laughs> yo, my virgin Raphael here, I mean, he's taught me. I think I had a unique um, opportunity where, you know, I got some help because I didn't have any family in Ghana. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so now I do have a family um, in the Emmanuel's, but you know, it's, it's a place where for black people, especially young black people, I think young black people should be looking to Africa now. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it is, it, is, it is really tough in the West, um, you know, you have to, if you have a business in the West, it's a black business, you know what I mean? If you have a business here, it's just business, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? If you have, if, you, if you're doing something, it's always niche and, you know, you're begging for Black Lives Matter and this thing and that thing. And I'm saying, okay, let's move on from that. Absolutely. Since, yeah, seeing as though they don't want to accept us, you know what I mean? Like, it's fine, you know what I mean? Let's... Let's come amongst ourselves and see what it is that we can achieve. Mm-hmm. You see me? I mean, we have time. We, mm-hmm. we have time to make mistakes. We can make mistakes. We can come back. We can make mistakes. We can come back still. You see me? We can mistrust. We can trust. Mm-hmm. We can do everything. We just mm-hmm. have to understand. So listen, we just have to work on this thing until 10, 15 years time and everything will be different. Awesome. I, I, I really um, appreciate that because, again, I truly believe let us focus mm-hmm. Let us just try to focus on us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What can we do as a people? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How can we work together? Mm -hmm. Right? How can we build together? Mm -hmm. You you also mentioned to me that one of the things that you see is that, you know, we need to grow economically together. Just just explain a little bit what you meant by that. In terms of, all right, so the first thing, me and Raphael, my friend Raphael here, um, we were discussing the other day, the economic power of Jamaica here is not very strong. Um, in terms of, in terms of, you'll find people here that are very comfortable. Um, but you know, the economic power in terms of if we can boss youths, is not there. You see me? So um, right now, what we're trying to do is create that 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 power where when people hear our accents here in, in, in Ghana, they think not just Jamaicans, but these people are wealthy. You know what I mean? Like they hear Jamaican accent, they will say, "Oh, some rich people they not come." You understand? So it's um, you know, it's I think it's very important. That we, we we are focused in um, focused in getting what we need. We need to be prudent as as a Jamaican people. We need to come together as well and unify. Is it? Nah, forget about mistrust. We're here in a place where we mistrust everybody anyway. Yes. <laughs> so so you know what I mean. So let's 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 just trust each other and just see what we can do. Everybody's trying to hustle and do this thing for himself and do this thing for himself and, and I don't have a problem with that. Mm-hmm. You see me? Um because I, I like to support any Jamaican business here. Yeah. Once they tell me say a Jamaican may I come in your shop come buy some. You yeah. understand? Yeah. So you know um I, I really do feel like we have to develop our economic power so that we can help a lot more people. Awesome. Mm-hmm. I think that's I think that is strong. Mm-hmm. And so um what would you say? to the diaspora or diaspora out there in terms of looking to destination Ghana for okay vacation is one thing right we already encourage them to come and visit what would you say to them about investing whether they want to live here or not viable not viable something that they should certainly look at because of where uh Ghana is going? Well, um, you know, I, I, I definitely say, first things first, I mean, I mentioned it before, I think we need to be prudent. Um, we have to plan our future. Um, we can't live in the same cycle forever and ever, amen. It doesn't make any sense. You see me? I have youth, I have two pitney, you see me? And I don't want them to be, I don't want them to struggle the same. So we have to, we have to start planning and say, oh, you know what? This thing that we're doing in the West is a cycle. You understand? So every month we get our money, you go back in our bills, you go back in our this thing and that thing, and then you have a little bit of money left. You see me? What we need to start doing is planning the thing. Oh no, we'll stretch out the thing and we look at the thing from here to here, and then we recognize that, all right, here not so nice, but we're going to make here so nice. Which means that here so, after we start with the transition, and it's here so rich because we already know it the nice. Is it matter it says here so we're supposed to reach? So right now, I'm telling to diaspora people is this. We're black. See? And that now will change. There is nobody who I will say, oh, you know what? Let me, let's relinquish power and give to black people. Nobody not that. You see me? So when we, when we, we have to start looking at Africa now. Say, oh, it's not even just Ghana. You see me? Like you can go to Tanzania. The continent. Just, absolutely. The continent. Mm-hmm. You see me? Just go to the continent and recognize, say, yo, you're messing up. They can make a life, you say, because... The people, the people react similar. You see me? The people look the same. 
um, anything that you know work in Jamaica can even work here. <laughs> you see me? So there are so many things that we can start investing in, and we don't say, oh, maybe like, like I said, I'm 30 years old. Mm -hmm. At 40, I'm still young. Ah, you for see? sure. At 50, I'm still young. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. And that's 20 years from now. And if I can start planning from now, then you know, I read a book. I read a book the other day. Um, if you, if you, if money, 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 money investments. 50-50 on day one, 68% in year five, 88% in year 10, and 100% in year 20, which means that if you plan for 20 years, you have a high probability of succeeding. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Kevoy, yeah. thank you no so problem. much. No this was the usual Dan Sway, unedited unfiltered yeah. unscripted um guys let me tell you uh kevo i did not know this was going to take place <laughs> in fact i was invited to their offices and uh, yes by Raphael, you are hearing the name mm -hmm. called more than once yeah. right uh he and his uh, lovely wife are the conceptualizers and owners of Jam rock that you know of. And, um, and brand manager. <laughs> there, and there you go. You know, your boy is a brand manager. And um, Raphael called and um, invited me to come here so I see what they're doing here. Um, Kevoy had to in, 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 uh, remind him because they're also busy. <laughs> and so I had the dialogue already with Raphael and he called. Kevoy yeah. said, come up, and I said, you know, in our discussion, I said, no, man, this is exciting me too much. Yeah, Let me get you on my channel. So I appreciate it, <laughs> I right? Know, and know, um, can, we, can we both agree mm -hmm. that for, uh, we believe it's Africa now, mm -hmm. not the future, yeah. and we believe desti Destination Ghana 100%. is the gateway. Oh, 100%. Thank you, Kevoy. The best is yet to go. Oh, why don't you tell you that? <laughs> uh, guys, please share, like, Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Medasi. God bless.